Hello guys, we're in the beautiful country of Luxembourg in Europe in search of masters and PhD opportunities and even postdoc opportunities in case there are viewers here interested in postdoc funding. So Luxembourg is a beautiful small country in Europe with lots of funded opportunities. As we'll be looking at today, some of the opportunities are open. Some of them are closed for this year but are going to be opening very soon for next year. So in case your particular opportunity is not open, bookmark this scholarship and make sure you keep a tab on it and immediately it opens, you take advantage of it. So without any further delay, let's look for master's PhD postdoc opportunities in Luxembourg. So we'll begin with the research opportunities in form of PhD postdoc opportunities. So um, for a number of European countries, not all of them, but some of them, PhD opportunities, postdoc opportunities are seen as um, job positions or job vacancies. So you find PhD opportunities on the current vacancies, for instance, as you can see here. So you can simply use the filter function to select the um, job position you're applying for. So for instance, if you're looking for a postdoc position, choose postdoc here and click on search. And these are the different kinds of postdoc positions. Here you can see something on drug development. Here there is a, a postdoc researcher in social sciences. There's something about cancer, digital history, energy. So you can see the very long list here. And in case there's a postdoc applicant in the house, take advantage of this. Or in case you know somebody interested in the postdoc. Of course, you can also find opportunities here for professorships. So if there are professors here by any chance, you can also check here for opportunities. So let's go to the PhD opportunities. For PhD, there are also lots of them as you can see. We have in places like physics, in computer science, in space, in engineering, geography, statistics, economics and management, psychology, in law, music, gender, in law, again, financial law. There are lots of opportunities here that you might just be qualified for operations management, quantum information theory, so you click on them and see the application's requirements. So most times if you're applying for a PhD, you might just need a master's already. So read thoroughly what they require, what they need you to provide, and just click on the required link and go with it. It's a very um, informative website. All the materials, I think, all the information you need are on this website already. And there are also contact persons in case you need to ask questions about these positions. So you can see them here, numerous of them, different PhD opportunities, just like job vacancies, as I said earlier. So let's quickly move to the master's opportunities. They are just as generous, if not more generous than the PhD opportunities. So look at this first one, the Gil Lumen scholarship i hope i got that pronunciation correctly so it's from people from third countries so usually this refers to people from outside europe people willing to study in europe but from outside europe so if you're from latin america us africa asia you qualify for australia of course you qualify for this um, scholarship and it's looking for those with high academic achievement in their bachelor studies and those willing to apply for any of these eligible masters. So these are the masters courses eligible for this particular um, Gil Lumen um, scholarship. So these are the masters opportunities. And um, how do you apply for it? There is an application portal here where you apply for the scholarship but you also need to apply for admissions differently. 
So you apply for admissions for one of these courses mentioned and then return here to apply for a scholarship. So you, you don't necessarily need to wait to get admitted, but so far you get like a application number or something, then you can move forward to apply for the scholarship. So you need the scholarship application form, which you can get through here, your personal statement motivation letter. So why do you want to take up this course? What is your application or your rather your work background or your educational background and how will this course help your future goals there are videos already on this my youtube channel by the way this is my youtube channel on how to write these motivation letters statement of purpose so you can get tips from here so let's go back to the scholarship so of course recommendation letter and you said about okay two letters two recommendation letters and the full contacts of those recommending you so as we said, um, academic achievement and originality in your personal statement and of course your motivation for undertaking the course as well. So the admissions procedure is also stated here. And the selection procedure rather, your application will be assessed and if it is good enough, you'll be given the scholarship. So what does the scholarship cover there? The weight of the scholarship. So it's meant to cover full tuition and then a living stipend. As you can see here, you can see 500 euros per month for a living stipend. And um, you also get, um, what do they call it? Accommodation, free accommodation in the student's hall as well. So it covers, um, as you can see, 500 here per month for two years. Usually, I think the masters are usually two years masters. And then you'd um, get free accommodation in the student hall. So in case you have any questions about the scholarship, you can contact this email here and send them inquiries. The scholarship is assessed on a rolling basis, as you can see. There's yet another scholarship called the Guardian Europe Scholarship. And this scholarship is for high performance students, I think outside Europe as well. For me, international master's applicant outside cross-border area of the greater region. I take this as those outside Europe as well. And these are the courses eligible for the scholarship. And this is the link as well to apply for the scholarship. But remember you have to apply for one of these courses as well, get an application number and then move to apply for the scholarship. The documents required as well, similar to what we've seen in the first one. And then what you're looking for in um, outstanding academic achievements, originality in your statement of purpose and motivation. And here they're looking for civic engagement, volunteer extracurricular activities. So show that you have like engaged community engagement, evidence of community engagement. I think this would show actually in your personal statement. So this scholarship is worth 20,000 euros, a lot of money. And they've also broken it down here on how you're going to receive the money through the um, duration of your course as well. It's also assessed on a rolling basis. So there's just one issue with this scholarship and that is, or both of them, the um, Gil Lumen and the Guardian Scholarship. There's just one major problem and I will show you what it is. So for instance, let's check data science. Let's say we want to apply for data science. You can see the basic information is a two year course and everything. Here you get the applications requirements. But here comes the problem. For non-EU students, the application window is between February and April. Unfortunately, this is in August. So the deadline to apply for this course has passed. But fortunately, it's an annual scholarship. So you can always apply next year. So you cannot meet up this year. You cannot be admitted this September or October, obviously. But if you're looking for scholarships by next year, I think you should consider this scholarship. 
because it's a yearly scholarship. So I've checked for most of the courses. The application window is between February and April. So bookmark this scholarship and make sure immediately it opens, you take advantage of it. So you can also see here details about scholarship. And if you click on, this is the website of the data science, for, um, by the way. But if you click on this link at the bottom, it takes you back to these scholarships. So just confirming that this course, for instance, is covered by this scholarship. So if you're looking for scholarships in any of these disciplines for next year, I think you should bookmark this page and visit very often. And Im immediately the time comes to apply for a scholarship. Please do so. And that's it, guys. Fully funded masters covering your stipend, even accommodation as we saw um, earlier. As we saw earlier here, free accommodation in the student's residence hall. And of course, we saw PhD opportunities here, postdoc opportunities, and even professorial opportunities as well. So I hope this was useful. And as usual, guys, we cannot wait to celebrate you. There are several materials on my channel already. Different assorted fully funded scholarships in different parts of the world. So take advantage of them. Ask direct questions after engaging with materials already provided. And we'll see you at the top sooner than later. So bye-bye for now.